The Klondike Gold Rush was a frenzied migration of prospectors to the Klondike region of the Yukon in northwestern Canada after gold was discovered there in late 19th century. It began on August 16, 1896, when local miners George Carmack, Skookum Jim, and Dawson Charlie found gold in Rabbit Creek, later renamed Bonanza Creek, a tributary of the Klondike River. When news of the discovery reached Seattle and San Francisco in July 1897, it triggered a stampede of prospectors. The journey to the Klondike was arduous. Prospecting hopefuls, known as stampeders, had to navigate a challenging terrain that included ascending the Chilcot or White Pass trails. The Canadian government required each prospector to bring a year's supply of food to prevent starvation. This requirement meant stampeders carried over a ton of goods, making the journey even more challenging. The harsh climate and difficult conditions resulted in many abandoning their quest or facing severe hardships. As a result of the gold rush, boomtowns sprang up, with Dawson City in the Yukon becoming the most famous. It transformed from a small village into a bustling city of 30,000 people. Infrastructure like the White Pass and Yukon Route Railway was built to facilitate the movement of goods and people. These towns were characterized by a mix of opulence and desperation, with saloons, dance halls, and gambling being prevalent. The gold rush was short-lived. By 1899, many miners had left the Klondike. The discovery of gold in Nome, Alaska, led many prospectors to leave the Yukon for new opportunities. Right, yeah, check, we're already, yes, you got, we're up. 